Franklin family living in a home crushed by Irma, demanding answers from FEMA tonight. The Criswells made a call to our Taking Action reporter Jackie Calloway after the agency refused to provide any resources for their repairs. Irma's winds sent the large oak crashing into the children's rooms. This is one of the rooms that it hit. It was a mess. <laughs> The trunk and limbs destroyed half the house, including two bedrooms and a bathroom. It forced the Criswells to apply for FEMA aid and triggered an inspection. So he said it was the worst that he could that he had saw and the damage was very significant. Jessica and Jeremy own the home outright, but don't have insurance. So far, FEMA's offered them a total of $1,000 for repairs. That's the reason that that we had applied for FEMA because we were promised that we were going to get all this help. It's frustrating. <laughs> it's very frustrating. Especially having all the living out of one bedroom. FEMA told me in an email that the money is supposed to be used for people who don't have any other coverage to restore their home to a safe and secure place to live. Clearly, the program didn't work for the Cresswells. So we were left to fend for ourselves. According to their policy, FEMA assistance is not the same as insurance. It provides the basic needs for a home to be habitable. When it hit that main truss, it just collided with everything and kind of shifted. But in this case, $1,000 won't touch what's needed for repairs. We contacted FEMA repeatedly and sent pictures of the damage. Just this week, a second inspector came out and said he would resubmit the claim. We need to get our house built. Jackie Calloway taking action for you. And if you're dealing with a FEMA claim, we've posted a number and link on our website to guide you in filing an appeal. Just go to abcactionnews.com slash taking action.